Oh my. I'm gonna walk, but I gotta walk all the way back up through this. Welcome to a Creek Fishing Adventures 3 for 3. In this series, we're going to be doing three waterfalls in three days and making three videos on them. Holy cow. I chose three waterfalls within an hour to an hour and a half of my house that I've never been to. I go to explore them, also take a fishing rod and hike down to them to see what they look like. What does the waterfalls look like? Is there any fish that I can be caught? And just explore it, have fun. Also probably gonna do some swimming since it is in the middle of the summer. Here it is. Welcome back to the channel. And this is day three of trying to do three waterfall trips in three days. And this one may be a little different and interesting. It's 4.14. I have not been feeling too great. All of a sudden, I finally revived probably after laying in my truck, sitting in my truck for about two hours. And I'm gonna try to hit a waterfall. Hopefully it's not too far. It's only supposed to be a couple mile hike to it. Also looks like it may be raining. Also, I don't know if I'm going down the right road and I'm on this road right now. There's a guy walking in the middle of the road right in front of me. Listen to his headphones. He has no idea I'm behind him on a one lane road. I don't know if a storm's coming or not, but I'm up in Grandview up on the Cumberland Plateau area, and I haven't gone over a lot of my stuff. I might do a little go over at the end of this video because I've been packing very light, just taking very minimal things. Um, just a few fishing lures, a little bit of snacks, a couple things of water. This is the trail, there's a car here and there is a sign here. So it's supposed to be two miles down. I don't know if there's much water, if it's a little bitty stream or what. It's about the rain, but I also feel like it could blow right over. I'm gonna do it anyways. If I get wet, I get wet. We're gonna, we're gonna pack up and get on the trail. Wow, it's actually a really short hike to get to this spot. And um, let's see how much water, I hear water. Oh yeah, we got a drop. There's a deep pool down there. Looks a little murky, but uh, we've had some little intermittent thunderstorms. So this is gonna be pretty cool to see and hopefully catch a few fish. Oh dude, there's like a bluff right there. Oh, that's not a good place to slip right here. Okay, be careful. Oh my, that's a drop. Oh my goodness. I'm getting nervous just looking over it. It was like 50 feet down. So we got a little creek coming in right here. Not much. And dude. There's no barrier, there's no nothing. It's just a drop off. Straight rock and straight down. So uh, this is, be careful with that. Uh, wouldn't be one I'd wanna bring little people, little kids or animals that might fall off. There's the trail. The trail makes a loop around, so I guess it goes way up around the hill and it's supposed to be a way down, down there. There's also a trail going off that way. So we gotta get down there, make some casts into that pool. Yeah, we got a little rain coming down now. That's a cool rock bluff. All right, it looks like I'm out of the hardest part, getting down on this treacherous area. Hopefully that was the hardest. And let's go over here to the falls, make some casts. This is actually pretty peaceful. We got a little bit of light rain coming down. The sun's like still hitting the waterfall over here. That's a pretty good drop. That's a lot more of a drop. This is a big gorge right here. Like how a lot of waterfalls are. They're like this is, this is like all of a sudden it's just like somebody took a big old chunk out of the uh, ground and the whole thing just drops 40 or 50 feet and then it goes on a creek down that way.
Oh, there's a snake right there. I thought I saw it on my camera. I didn't even see it on in real life. Anyway, snake going across. I had to look. I had to look out of my camera to see what it was. Oh, I just saw a fish. There was a fish sitting right there. There's definitely fish in here. Okay. Uh, I don't know where that snake went. Snake, there was a snake and it went right there. And I, I just walked up here and there was a fish right there. It's a pretty good size little area here. I don't know how deep it is out there. It's a little murky. And hey, I got a fish on. First cast. Of course. These guys survive everywhere. These little, the more, the little out of the way places is where we, in Tennessee is where we usually find green sunfish. I know in some places like Missouri and Oklahoma, Arkansas, they got green sunfish everywhere. But most of the time, that's why I love green sunfish. They're like those little those little fish that are in the the place where you least expect a fish to be living. That's where the green sunfish will be. Is there anything else in here? I don't know. If I got a fish that fast, there should be something. At least more green sunfish. And there's one. There's thumping it. <laughs> back to back green sunfish. Dude, what a cool spot. This may be the this may be the most exciting place I've been out of the three waterfalls. I thought this was gonna be the, a letdown. This is really cool. Boom! They are thumping it. Three casts, three fish. A lot of times though, wherever these do inhabit, that's why they go. They're in the smallest, out of the way, up this creek, as far as you can go type of places. But they live there. I guess they try to get away from most of the other fish. And when they do inhabit a place, most of the time that's their main fish that's in there. A lot of times. But there could literally be anything else in this water. I just don't know. Missed the little one there. And I got another one. We got bluegill. That's actually, I'm a little surprised. Wasn't sure there'd be bluegill in here. What does he got sticking out of his? What is that? Is that fishing line? Dude, check this out. He's got a hook. He's got a hook in him. How did this bluegill break somebody off? That's what I want to know. This bluegill broke somebody off. Oh. I got, a, I got another one. I just dropped my line in and I picked up another green sunfish. This is, <laughs> what a crazy place. All right, let's try to get the hook out of the bluegill. All right, I got the bluegill out, tore his mouth up a little bit, but I think he'll be okay. I think they may have broke off or may have cut the line or something on him, I'm not sure. Oh, I saw that one come hit it. He's a little thinner, but he's a pretty big one. This is, I'd really doubt there's a lot of other fish in here with this many green sunfish in here. And this guy's got a big mouth. He's not, he's not the fattest fish in the world. So he's a older one, but not super big. Oh, the sun looks so cool. It's just hitting the waterfall perfectly, even though it's like cloudy and misty down here. And then as the creek goes down, look down that way. That looks uh, very, uh, it kind of dark and creepy looking. As it goes down, it gets misty. I'm getting thumped on about every cast. I think I've, I don't know if I've reeled in all the way without catching a fish. There's got to be a million green sunfish in there. I can see out there, it's it's not very deep right here. I don't know if there's much deepness out at all, but this is textbook one of those places that... Oh, that was a fuck fish right there. It's one of those things where, you're, uh, like in a horror movie, you come to this awesome little lagoon and then there's like a giant thing that lives in here. <laughs> it just comes out of nowhere. This is exactly where a place like something like that would live. Little spot out in the middle of nowhere. I only get a few people out here every once in a while. Oh wow, I see a bunch of green sunfish hanging on this tree over here. And all of a sudden they just came up to the top. 
and they hit it, but they came off. There's a lot of little fish in here. I just, I just keep wondering if there's any bass in here. Could there be any bass living in this hole? Oh, those greenies are real aggressive. Keep biting my tail. Dude, there's so many little green sunfish. And I'm just kind of, I'm just set, instead of jerking and setting the hook, wait till something actually grabs it. They're all like swiping at it. There's a lot of little fish in here. When I, ooh, ooh, what we got here? What we got? Nice, nice one. All right, another little perfect little green sunfish, real colorful. Thank you, Mr. Green. Well, you don't know if you don't try. Let me throw out this. Probably just get a bunch of little sunfish bite at it. We'll make some casts. There's something, I'm getting hits, but they're little. They're, they're, they're biting it and grabbing on it. See something right there swimming off with it. Oh, I got it. That's green sunfish, yeah. Oh no, he just had it in his mouth and didn't even have it hooked. Oh. Can there be one bass out there? Wow, this is definitely worth it. So glad I got here, even though probably look, my eyes look terrible. I just was very out of it this morning. I get wore down sometimes, get headaches, whenever I do a lot of stuff. And then uh, of course I've been sweating a lot the last few days, but I'm glad I was still able to come here and hike to the falls. It's only an hour and 10 minutes from my house. And then like a short little hike down here, a little treacherous, but just, it's just one of those places that like, you gotta go see these kind of things. I'm so glad I get to do this for a job and I wanted to go to some new waterfalls and experience these places. And then I'm like, well, might as well fish them too. So put it all in one and I get to come out here and call this work. Now, one thing I have to do is uh, I gotta go stand into that waterfall. I don't know how hard it's falling, but I gotta at least cool off from it. I'm afraid to walk out into that murkiness. And then uh, we might hike around a little bit more. I might just hike back, I'm not sure. But this is, this is worth the trip here, it's really fun. The back side of water. That's a good drop. All right, I don't want to slide. It's still a lot higher than I thought. How hard is this going to hit me? I'm really worried about slipping and falling and then just like tumbling down the rocks. But I got to get under the waterfall a little bit. It's worth a little bit of risk. Oh. Oh. That feels good. Now we're running the hard part. Oh, it's cold. Oh, it hurts me. Ugh, hard brain drop. Very nice. Oh, wow. Now that's a drop off there. There's like a trail going to right here and then it's straight down. There is another falls. I didn't know there was two falls. I saw something about a lower falls. I didn't know there was another waterfall. That one actually looks pretty fun too. And that deep hole actually looks deeper. Huh. All right, I gotta find a way to get down to that because uh, I'm staying right on the bluff right here. Oh my goodness. Here we go, here we go. You ready for this? Hope people aren't afraid of heights. Ah! Oh my. Yeah. You can walk right to the edge of 
This one is a straight drop. Oh my goodness. I don't think I'm gonna hike down to that one because it looks like there's a trail over there. That looks really steep. I don't even know where the trail is. I don't see another one coming in. One waterfall may be enough for me. Although that looks really cool, but I'm sitting right. Oh my goodness. I feel like there's, I feel like I'm on a rock and there's nothing under it and the rock could break off at any second. And I'll just go down. <laughs> yeah, that would be painful. I don't think I'd feel it though. Wow. All right, we got a two for one today, two waterfalls, one trip. Uh, if I ever come back and I'm just hiking, wow, we got some thundering too. If I ever come back just hiking, I know to maybe try to come down to this one. But it's already later in the afternoon and if I'm gonna start hiking out of here and uh, maybe do a little more fishing, I don't know, but it's probably gonna be the end of it. One last look. Dude, they just, somebody just turned the lights out. Those clouds are rolling in dark. <laughs> it is coming a thunderstorm. Oh, it's scary. <laughs> Luckily, I mean, all these tall trees around me. I guess one of them could get struck, but uh, thunder sounds like it's getting closer too. Oh, holy cow! That was close. All right, getting nervous. I sure can't get any more wet than I am right now. I took my shirt off and my, I should take my shorts off. I'm just soaking the seats here. All right, we gotta end this video back at my house. Hey, thanks for watching everybody. Hope you enjoyed that video. And hopefully some of the uh, video work and the scenery showed up nice. I didn't pack in um, a nice big camera. I also wasn't able to take my drone. I wanted to take it to go places, but it didn't work out. There's people there and then some places I weren't even allowed to take a drone. Also, I didn't want to pack a lot of equipment to take like a lot of things. So I just shot with my GoPro and with my phone. And sometimes I was actually tired, uh, but three different videos of, there were three days in a row. I was able to get it done and three waterfalls and um, pretty cool uh, little trip. I plan to do more three for threes on different things. Maybe three days of fishing for a certain fish three days uh, fishing with a certain lure or three different other things like this. So uh, this is just something I wanted to try. I wanted to pick waterfalls because I love going to waterfalls and I, I, I wanted to try to exp experience them and explore them during the summer. This was a little hot for it, but it was a great time to get there and just uh, cool off in the water. And three, all three of them turned out really good. This last one here came a huge thunderstorm and um, was kind of interesting as I was hiking out. It was just pouring and lightning and thundering but I made it home. There was a tree across the road on the way home, but I was able to get around it. It had fallen uh, on these uh, back roads that I was on. I won't go over my setup real quick. I'm not, I'm just not gonna go in detail, but I just took a, a light bag. This is a waiting bag that I use. This is a Cast King sling pack. And I have this in my video description link. Um, I use it quite a bit for hiking and backpacking uh, because I, it's not very big. And a lot of times I don't wanna take a lot of stuff with me. So I, I was very light. Just a, like a couple bottles of water, a life straw, like um, uh, just a few fishing lures and just very simple stuff. And even the rod and reel that I chose, I kind of designed to be very lightweight. This, I had this rod made for me. This is a Joe's custom rod. It's a six foot three medium light. And um, I had it designed a small, shorter, medium light rod for hiking and exploring. 
And um, I, the reel that I was using is a um, Johnny Morris Car Carbon Light 2.0, and it's they're just, they're made to be really lightweight. And I have I think I have um, eight pound braid and maybe like a six pound fluorocarbon leader. So I, I was able to throw tiny little lures to catch those little bluegill. And if I ever do come across some bigger fish, I have caught some bigger fish on this, it still handles that too. But everything in this um, video little series was just about going and exploring. And uh, my packing and what I take was about just trying to keep it light as possible, getting there, exploring them, have fun. Hopefully I got a few more um, series coming up, just a little something I'm trying to change up. Always trying to think of new ideas. If you got any suggestions on any kind of three for three series I should do, maybe a certain place, maybe go to a certain state, fish three days or things like that. I'll try to mix those in there, just something a little bit fun. And I'll actually make three videos and do them, you know, and go to those places three consecutive days. It kind of puts pressure on not really changing much. If it was a bad day, I'm gonna show it. If it was a good day, I'm gonna show it. These three days turned out great. Um, caught a lot of fish and did a lot of exploring. Thanks for watching.